Okay, today I want to discuss zones, fonts, and equal loudness contours. Most people are familiar with uh, decibels. Decibels in the open air is a uh, decibel sound pressure level shortened to dBSPL. To boil it down, when you talk to somebody in the open air, you're hearing their voice at approximately 60 decibels, plus or minus 60 decibels. They might whisper at 45 decibels. They might shout at 80 decibels. But normal conversation is said to be a plus or minus 60 decibels, with the threshold of pain being 120 decibels by most people agreeing with that uh, level, even though some textbooks and web pages will say differently. That's our decibel range, from normal conversation to the loudest sounds we can tolerate, from 60 decibels to 120 decibels, and everything under that is very quiet, or relatively quiet. Now, equal loudness contours. I'm going to read from the Master Handbook of Acoustics, but basically it's uh, all frequencies that we hear from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, plus or minus, depending on whose ears they are. We compare all those different frequencies to one kilohertz. So one kilohertz is going to be uh, our, our reference point, and that's, that's used throughout with zones and fonts, as you'll see. So basically right here in the Master Handbook of Acoustics. Equal loudness contours of the human ear for pure tones. These contours reveal the relative lack of sensitivity of the ear to bass tones, especially at lower sound levels. Inverting these curves gives the frequency response of the ear in terms of loudness level. So basically, when you listen to a tone of 1 kilohertz at 40 decibels, that is the contour tied to one kilohertz at 40 decibels. So to hear 40 hertz equally in loudness to one kilohertz at 40 decibels, you would have to listen to 40 hertz at 70 decibels. You can easily do this, this test by uh, playing uh, pure sine tones. Um, go to onlinetonegenerator.com and listen to different frequencies. Listen to one kilohertz comfortably, okay? Adjust your speakers or your headphones, if they're good enough headphones, to a comfortable level at one kilohertz and play different frequencies in relation to one kilohertz. You'll notice that 40 and 50 hertz and low frequencies like that have to be turned up enough to hear the same as one kilohertz. And frequencies between three and five kilohertz will have to be brought down to be heard the same. Now, what is a phon? What is a son? Well, to answer what a son is, we have to know what a phon is. Because we don't hear frequencies at the same level, we're going to take our one kilohertz tone at 40 decibels, and we're going to call that 40 fawns. So 40 fawns is one kilohertz at 40 decibels. Now, sones. That's one sone. One sone equals 40 fawns. Two sones is 50 fawns. Okay. Half a zone is 30 fonts, etc. So, just for clarification, I will define, according to the Master Handbook of Acoustics, what a fawn is. The fawn is a unit of physical loudness level that is referenced to a sound pressure level at 1 kilohertz. One zone is defined as the loudness experienced by a person listening to a 1 kilohertz tone of 40 fawn loudness level. A sound of two sones is twice as loud as one sone, and 0.5 sone is half as loud. So it's, it's a way of, of simplifying loudness levels. I hope that's not too confusing. Study this graph. Cheers.